everyone, it's Cheryl. I just wanted to quickly show you my little DIY I did from yesterday. I let the glue set overnight, so that's why I didn't show this um, yesterday. Those four glass little um, square jars that I picked up. One of the little tubes of glue, as you can see I still have plenty of glue left. A bamboo skewer that you use for the barbecue. That's what I used, and it's still on the newspaper. The glue is dry, I just haven't moved it yet. Um, so, you can store your lipsticks in here. You can put your compacts in here. You know, little eyeshadows, what have you. And I think it's, it's cute. You can embellish around the edging. I didn't because I just like, you know, the nice, thick, clear glass. I do like to bejewel some stuff. Don't get me wrong. But I just, I haven't, you know, done that with this one. Like I said, this is still a work in progress, so I'm not finished. I wanted to show you, um, for four, five bucks, I made this cute little jewelry organizer. Um, what I have my jewelry on my, on my jewelry, or my makeup on. I called this a jewelry organizer, yeah. A makeup organizer. You can use it for anything. You could store jewelry in it. You know, like... The box. You can put the boxes in there or just the jewelry itself. Um, but I think it's really cute. I think it's um, a lot cheaper than the clear containers. We just got a container store. I'm so happy and so proud. Um, it's going to be opening this week so I'm going to be going right down to Garden City to go check out the container store. I see so many people haul some amazing containers from there. So I'm looking forward to that. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you quickly. This is my little DIY. It's all glued together. The glue is clear. It will dry clear. So you won't have to worry about um, really seeing it. And it's strong. All four of these are glued together. And um, I think it came out really good. So please tell me what you think. And, um... Like I said, you can use this to store anything. You don't have to use, you know, um, eyeshadow and MAC paint pots or whatever jewelry. You can store anything in it. You know, I just thought it was really cute. Really quick. The glue dried really quick. It set after like 10 minutes. And then the package suggested you let it rest for like 24 hours. So, that's what I did with that. Um... Like I said, I'm going to be adding to it. Um, if you wanted to, you could glue the little rhinestones. I still have more of these rhinestones. Um, I don't want to, but you could, you know, just add the little rhinestones to bling it out. Or to hide the seams, if that's what, you know. If you didn't like the look of the seams, they would fit perfectly for that. Um, I just don't want to do it and then they all get popped off by pulling things in and out. Um, I just made sure that they were all even. These are on a slant. They do slant backwards. They're not perfectly straight. I don't know if you can tell. Um, they are even, but they're not perfectly straight. The, the front is much wider than the back. Um, so, I pressed these two together. Then I leaned them against this because it's a flat surface so they don't slide and then I did the same with this I waited a little while I put the glue in the middle after I waited for these to dry I pushed them all together and that's what I did like I said tomorrow I'm gonna have another um, update on this little cubicle like I said it's still it's stuck together it's very strong the glue I think it's really cute um, so please let me know what you think Please let me know if you try this out. I'd love, love, love to see it. Um, so here is what my little candle holders that I revamped. That's what they look like with the little blinged out um, rhinestones on it. So these are just Ikea uh, old candle jars that I just put hot water in. And yeah, I think they look really cute. I don't know. Maybe it's not for everyone. Um, this is actually 
not for makeup or anything. This is a charging station. It has the little holes. Um, the thing that I hate about this thing, it gets so freaking dusty. And I take a washcloth to it constantly, at least twice a week. It just, the velvet just catches dust like unbelievable. And I take um, the Dollar Tree Q-tips. I don't like them. They're too skinny for my ears. They like, I don't know, whatever. Um, so I'll take them and run them across the edge. But what happens is every time I do that, it looks like dust all right here. In the back, that's dust. But this looks like it's probably dust, but it's not. What it is is wear from me scratching it with the Q-tip. The color turns the head of the white Q-tip black. So I was looking for another alternative to these two um, things that I have all my makeup in. So I'm thinking I'm going to use these. And you can stack them as high as you want. Uh, you can make it as long as you want. You can use them this way. You know, like if you want to use them in your desk or something. Um, or to put other things in. It doesn't have to be makeup, it doesn't have to be desk related. You could put a flower arrangement in here. And instead of using what they call a turtle or a frog, um, you could just make little arrangements in all the different um, compartments. And once you get a nice big bouquet, it would look like one big arrangement. You could do that. You could do different arrangements in each little jar. Whatever. You could use these as candy dishes. You know, like, it's really, really, really endless amount of things you can do with these. Um, you know, I mean, this cost me five bucks, and I like it a lot. And I will be doing an update tomorrow on this and showing you what I did to complete this. So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's probably crazy. All right, ciao.